Hey there guys, Dominic here. Um, with the new Magic Mouse, which I've already done an unboxing of, and now I want to talk a little bit about the uh, gestures on it, and a program you can download to get some more gestures for it. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we have the mouse. Uh, very sleek design, very nice. Uh, metal bottom here. Uh, included our two AA batteries. Uh, just some little things I've noticed. Um, the uh, if you're ever worried about that indicator light, I'm not sure if you can see this right, but um, I would never be worried about that taking any battery because as soon as it's set down, it goes off. I hope you guys can see that. As soon as you set down the mouse, that indicator light goes off. So it's only when you pick it up do you actually, you know. Which is really smart from Apple because, I mean, it's not like it needs to be on when it's laying down. The other thing is there's no red laser. There's no actual laser um, coming out of the laser tracking hole or whatever you want to call it here. Um, that, you know, is lighting up my desk when I'm working in the dark or whatever. Um, and so forth. So, um, some of the multi-touch, people have been saying that it's impossible to go left or right. Um, that is completely not true. Uh, I can go in here, you know, and, well, okay, seriously, I gotta find something. There we go. Okay. So I can go in here and just swipe left or right, swipe left here, and it just goes through it, no problems. Swipe right. Well, I'm having problems because I'm not even facing the mouse, but, like, see? There we go. It's really simple. People say it feels unnatural or whatever. I think it feels fine. So that's the first thing. By the way, sorry guys, I do have a bit of a cold uh, coming along. So if you hear that, that's of course what that is. Um, so some gestures. Uh, I've downloaded a program called Better Touch Tools. Uh, let's go over here. Sorry about that. Um, and I can go ahead and show you the icon right here. I'm pretty sure I have a link in one of my videos to where to get this, as to where to get this. So you can go ahead and uh, download that. Any Magic Mouse user, or even a MacBook Pro user, or MacBook user with a trackpad, I would definitely suggest downloading this. Um, you can set different things, like I can add one here, and I can say the gesture should be two finger swipe right and I want it to do application expose so two finger swipe right does just the application expose so if I'm in iTunes and I have finder windows open two finger swipe right it's just that application I'm in so if I go to iTunes here two finger swipe right just iTunes see it even highlights it in the dock like it should and you can switch that as you do that so pretty cool. Um, so let's go here. Alright, so things like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So as you can see I have some things set here. I have three fingers swiped down to show spaces. Just three fingers swipe down. Uh, three fingers swipe up shows me dashboard. Just like that. Um, sorry, I'm not showing you guys any of this. Uh, three finger swipe down is uh, spaces. Three finger swipe up is dashboard. Uh, two finger swipe down is expose for all applications. I don't really use just a single application expose. I don't really have a use for it. But that just is all. And two finger swipe up is uh, dashboard, or excuse me, is desktop. And uh, I kind of have them set up to how I would think of it physically, like I would be throwing them off of the desktop. So I have the two finger swipe up to do, you know, desktop. Two finger swipe down, just kind of like spread them out, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then I have the three finger click, which is cool. So I can just hold three fingers, click, and I can drag to whatever program I want to be on. Uh, screen flow, you know, whatever. Um, so that just works just like this. I can three finger click here, 
of course not when it's not sitting on the ground. ground on the surface here. Um, set out this box. So three finger click. There we go. It's because I had my hand on it. So forth. Um, and so forth. So those are the kinds of things you can set up with uh, this uh, Better Touch tools. And as I said, if you have a touchpad or a trackpad, you can do some different things with that. Also, the tracking. You can change the tracking uh, faster than the Apple preferences will let you. Uh, different swipes uh, will be coming soon, okay. Uh, where to ignore on the mouse, one finger, so forth. Other gestures like zooms and so forth. Sorry about that. Um, and so forth. So you can set a lot of things. Uh, you can also set specific applications. Like if I just want for iDVD, you know, open. So I go to iDVD and I can set specific commands for that, like, um, you know, things like that. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And so forth. So that is uh, Better Touch Tools and the Magic Mouse and just some little things about it. Uh, probably the best program, at least, that I have found. Uh, to optimize the Magic Mouse for your uses uh, because Apple really just doesn't give you much with it, uh, much multi-touch. So this really just gives you a lot of different options uh, because you are missing the pressure buttons on the side and the uh, scroll ball click on the Magic Mouse. So it really helps out with that. So, alright, well, um, I'm going to wrap this video up, so uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.